Okay, so we just had a, our last example had the quadratic function modeling area. Now we're going to model vertical motion. So in this example, a diver jumps off a high platform at an initial vertical velocity of 16 feet per second. Part A, what quadratic function represents the height h of the diver after t seconds of the dive? All right, so this is our vertical motion model that we saw in our um, vocab video. So let's just write out what that vertical motion model function is. h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus our initial velocity times t plus our initial height. Okay, so in order to write this function, we do want to figure out what the initial velocity is and what the initial height is, and then we can write a function pretty easily, actually. So the initial velocity, they actually gave that to us in the problem. They said the initial vertical velocity is 16 feet per second. So we're going to plug in a 16 for the initial velocity. And then the initial height, they did not tell us what the initial height is. But we are provided with a picture of what's happening. Here's where the diver starts. From here, they dive up and they come back down. So this spot right there, this is where the initial height is and we can see that that is 30 feet above the water. So our initial height is 30. Now to write a quadratic function that represents the height h of the diver after t seconds, we're just gonna plug those values in. So h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus our um, initial velocity is 16, so 16 times t, I just carried down that t, and then plus our initial height, which we said was 30, so plus 30. So this function will give you the height of the diver after any number of seconds. We could plug in any number of seconds here to figure out how high the diver is. All right, so part b. How many feet above the platform will the diver be at the highest point of his dive? So the highest point of his dive, if we look back at the picture, we can see that's right here. This is how high he gets before he goes back down. So this um, motion is a parabolic shape. We can see what do we call that highest point. Um, we know that this is the vertex of your parabola. So to find the highest point of his dive, we have to find the vertex. Anytime you're asked about highest point, maximum, that kind of thing, it all comes from the vertex. So we have our function up here. To find the vertex, that is standard form by the way. To find the vertex, we're going to use our little formula that we love x equals negative b over 2a. So I have a negative, put a parenthesis, our b value is the number in front of t, so our b value is 16, over 2 times our a value is in front of our t squared, which is a negative 16. Then we'll just simplify this. We have a negative 16 in the numerator over a negative 32 in the denominator. Negative 16 divided by negative 32 is a positive 0.5. So we have half of our vertex, 0.5 for the x. Now to get the y, we're just going to take that 0.5 and we're going to plug it into our function. We're going to find h of 0.5. We're going to plug this in for all of our variables. That will give us, I mean, if we think about this in terms of the context of this problem, we're going to figure out the height of the diver 0.5 seconds into his dive. So negative 16 times 0 0.5 squared plus 16 times 0 0.5 plus 30. We grab our calculators. We type that in very carefully with parentheses and everything, and we get 34. 34. So the highest point of the dive is at the ordered pair 0 0.5, 
34. If we look at the picture, here's what that means, is that after half a second, so after 0.5 seconds, the diver is up at a height of 34 feet. Now this 34 feet is above the water. That's how high that is. All right, so that 34 feet, if we write that in, we just figured out from here all the way to here is 34 feet. They asked us for how many feet above the platform will the diver be? Well, if we look at the picture, the platform is 30 feet above the water and our diver goes 34 feet above the water. So all we have to do is find the difference there. We'll just take the total height, 34 feet, subtract out the 30 feet of the platform and we get four feet. So to answer the question, the diver is four feet above the platform. All right, one more question. Find the diver's maximum height above the water if he dives from a 20 foot platform with an initial velocity of eight feet per second. So again, we're gonna have to write our quadratic function. So we're gonna follow this format, h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus our initial velocity times t plus our initial height. Now, if the diver is starting from a platform 20 feet high, um, that's your initial height. So we know that our initial height is 20, and then they told us the initial velocity is eight feet per second, so initial vo velocity is eight. We will go ahead and plug those numbers in. So we have our function, h of t equals negative 16 t squared, plus initial velocity is eight t, plus initial height is 20, and now we have a function to work with. To find the diver's maximum height, we're gonna find the vertex. All right, vertex from standard form, x equals negative b over 2a, so negative, here's our b value, that eight, over two times, here's our a value, negative 16. So we have negative eight over negative 32, that if we divide that, we get a positive 0.25. So we just found the x-coordinate of our vertex. It also is the t-value, so we know that after 0.25 seconds, this diver will reach the maximum height of, we don't know what it is yet, because we have to plug that into c. So we're going to do, find the height after 0.25 seconds. So we plug in a 0.25 to find the rest of that ordered pair negative 16 times 0 0.25 squared plus eight times 0 0.25 plus 20. We grab our calculators and we very carefully type that in and we get back 21. So we can go ahead and fill in our vertex. So here's what this means is that that's the pathway of the diver. They started up here on a platform. Here is the maximum height. That's that vertex, 0 0.25 comma 21. But which value, the 0 0.25 or the 21, gives us the actual height above the water? That's gonna be the y value. That's that 21 feet. So the diver is 21 feet above the water. Or what is the maximum height? The diver's max height There we go. Max height is 21 feet.